To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Head up the stairs and speak to the ambassador just to your right. Choose the first chat option. Next, head downstairs to the base floor once again and head all the way southwest until you see a transport icon located here on the map. Enter the doorway, head south and speak to an NPC called Tegdak. You will now receive a trowel and a cleaning brush. Go ahead and use a trowel on a small mound of dirt next to you. There are more mounds of dirt to the south. Do this until you receive six artifacts. Then head back and use these artifacts on the table. Clean them all. Then speak to Tegat once again. Before we proceed, make sure you dismiss any familiar that you might have or the conversation will be interrupted. Speak to Zanik and choose the first chat option. Zanik will now start following you. Head back to the start of the quest and go to the building just to the west. And speak to an NPC called Goblin Scribe. Head inside the building just to your west and climb down the stairs. Speak to Oldak and choose the second chat option. You will now be teleported to Goblin Village with Zanik. You will also receive a Dorgish Khan Sphere. This is to directly teleport back to Dorgeshkan, but do not use this yet. We'll use it later. Once teleported, head into the main building and speak to General Bentnose or Wartface. Choose a second chat option. Once the cutscene is over, hug the western wall and climb up the ladder. Slay both the ham, ranger, and major, and you'll get a cutscene.
after said cutscene, go ahead and talk to either of the generals and choose the second, then the first chat option. Before we proceed, make sure you have a secondary combat style to go along melee. Head to the area located here on the map. Speak to either Goblin General. Then enter the dog hole under the tree. And climb down the ladder. You will now have to evade carefully some ham guards. You can do this by hiding behind certain pillars and entering this small area. This might take a little bit of trial and error, but it's not too difficult. You will need to, for sure, evade the first set of guards, so that way, if you get caught on the second guard, that's fine. The goblins will distract the said guard. So do as I do here. You will now receive a cutscene. After said cutscene, wield your mace and attack him. Build up some adrenaline until you could now use the special attack, which is found in your constitution ability bar. Once his spear has been disabled, you can now attack him with your secondary combat weapon. Once defeated, untie Zanuck. You'll get a cutscene. At the end of said cutscene, quest complete. 